Hey everyone, so I am Colin from Colin Does IoT Stuff and today I want to do a video about Home Assistant. This is my first video, probably not going to be the best and everything, but it's my first, so we might as well try, see how it goes. And today we'll be talking about this. We're going to be talking about this. So these are smart bulbs. This one specifically is from Beanetta, if you can see that. And when I'm going to show you how to pair it, get it connected to the Tiwa app, we're not going to be using Beanetta as there's no integration yet for, for Home Assistant. So we won't be using their official app, that we won't be, will be using Tiwa. Now, a little fun fact about Beanetta, Beanetta actually uses uh, Tiwa as the brains and everything. And then if you have a look at the Beanetta IoT app and the Tiwa Smart app, they look identical. And that's what I found. So we're not going to be using Beanetta IoT app. As I just mentioned, they are not as an official integration through Home Assistant. So we'll be using Tiwa throughout this. So step number one, download the Tiwa app. And what we are going to do now is we're going to go and plug it in to our light. Because obviously that would be the reason why you bought this. Unless you're tinkering around. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so all you want to go and do is just take your light. And mine specifically is a bayonet type. So it fits in there nice and easily. And what we are going to want to do now is turn the lamp on. Now beware. Um, there's going to be some flashing lights, so look away, look away if you are sensitive to it. But without further ado, let's go turn it on. Now once you turn it on, it's going to be bright, and it's going to start flashing like so. So now, as you can see, we have our light flashing like mad. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Tiwa app. I'm going to screen record this so that everyone can see and just follow what I do to pair it up. So let's go and do that. All right, so now that you are here, we can see I have added stuff already. I've been fiddling around, and these are all of my entities or devices that's inside of Home Assistant. But now we just connected ours to the Tiwa app. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have it obviously go to this page. We need to go to our integrations dashboard, and this is what we need. So to get started, click on add. Add the integration, search for Tiwa, and you're going to get this. So now you're going to need a user code. So now all you have to do is on your phone, so all you have to do is open the Tiwa app, you click on me, then all you need to do is click on settings, and after there is account and security. From here you'll see your user code. I'm going to blur mine out as it's specific to my device, but that user code that you see is what you need. So after you enter that, you will be good to go. Cool, so after we do that, just follow all the on-screen on prompts and we will get to here. As we can see, these are all the entities that we have available. You'll need to scan QR codes to do all of this. But for now, obviously, as we can see, we need to say add hub from here, enter that exact same user code that is on your Tiwa app. So for me, I will go ahead and enter that now. Now after we submit, you will need to scan. So go back and then on the on the me page of the Tiwa app, you will click the line that is right next. There's a box with a line in the middle that is right next to the security 
or the settings. What you're going to have to do is scan, and then on your phone, it's going to ask, logging in in Home Assistant. Please make sure this is you. Now, obviously, this was us, so what we will be saying is confirm login, and now you won't get anything on your phone. Oh, so it's it's done now. Now we click Submit. We wait for this to finish. And as we can see, these are all the devices. So success, this is what was found. Obviously, these are all the lights I have available. And this is the one we just made, TV light. So this goes into my room. And you can create areas and everything from here. So now we say finish. So now I am in the properties. So I'm going to put a small thing on. I'm going to point it towards the light so that you guys can see. I'm going to put it on screen, so I'm going to turn the light off, it's off, now we turn the light on, and it's on. So there you go, so that's how you do it, it's off, and then back on again. I will be making a follow-up video to this very soon about automations and everything, so do stay tuned for that.